AI will take your job. This sounds really scary to almost all people watching this because at the pace the AI is developing right now, it's all just a matter of time when AI will be able to do what you do. So I want to kind of highlight the jobs that I think are at risk of being replaced by AI, give you a warning in advance, so to speak. I think that one of the first jobs to go is the translation job. Yeah, you heard that right. AI is getting so good at translating languages that it's starting to put human translators out of job. And it's not just because AI is faster and cheaper, it's also because AI is getting better at understanding the nuances of language that make human translation so challenging. For example, the good old ChatGPT if you ask properly, can translate slang, idioms, and cultural references with a level of accuracy that was once unthinkable. It can also handle complex technical or legal documents, although people and companies try to keep such sensitive information away from AI. So I guess if you're a legal and technical translator, you still have a few extra years. Yet even so, companies are starting to invest more and more in AI translation tools. In 2023, Gizmodo made headlines when it laid off its entire Spanish language staff and replaced them with AI translators for its Spanish language website. The company cited cost-cutting measures and the increase in accuracy of AI translation tools as the primary motivations behind this bold decision. Gizmodo's move wasn't the first of its kind. In 2021, French media giant Le Monde announced plans to use AI to translate translate a portion of its articles into various languages. And just a few days ago, Duolingo laid off thousands of translators and replaced them with AI. And this is just the beginning. So if you are a translator, it's time to start upskilling. Learn a new language, master a specialized field of translation, or become an expert in AI translation tools. Because even if your job as is, will be replaced by AI, there will always be the need to tell AI what to do. But okay, translation getting replaced is something I can understand. But what about data entry clerks? Well, they're about to be gone too. Data entry clerks have long been considered a relatively low risk profession for automation, given the repetitive and predictable nature of their work. However, as AI technology continues to advance, especially the recognition oriented algorithms, the potential for AI to replace data entry clerks is becoming increasingly real. There are not too many examples of companies replacing people, but there are examples of people automating their data entry jobs in secret. According to an analytics magazine in India, in in one case, a computer programmer with the username Etherable got hired by a company and found the work was very boring and based on data entry. This employee has a work from home job and was able to automate the whole workload after about a year. The person inserts a few mistakes into the output to make it seem more realistic and not algorithm driven. Even though the individual earns a full time wage, they can reportedly handle their duties by spending only an hour or two on the job weekly. It's only a matter of time when AI will be able to handle all data entry by itself. So if you work at a similar job, you might want to transition to data science analysis or become a data management specialist. This will give you a few more years. The most obvious job to go is surely the call center representative, the person you talk to when your Wi-Fi is down or something like that. That's right. The legions of human agents who've been answering phones, resolving issues and fielding complaints for years are facing some serious companies. Competition. And it's not just some futuristic fantasy, it's happening right now. Take for instance the owner of an India-based e-commerce platform, Dukan. He has fired all 27 of his customer service reps and replaced them with AI. Now I know what you're thinking, oh no, all those call center workers in India are gonna be out of jobs. Well, that's true, but not quite. It may be the end for call centers as we know them, but a start of something new. AI is smart, but there will always be people who'd want to talk to real people, or instances when the human touch will be needed. What's even less shocking than that is the fact that 50% of bank tellers will be soon out of job. All those familiar faces behind the counter that hand you money, set up your account, and just smile are facing extinction. A few years ago, in 2018, Bank of America launched Erica, virtual assistant, and as of today, it has simplified data input, analysis of documents, and so on, and as of right now, it has conducted 1.5 billion interactions with clients, which is around 10 million hours of conversations. People use it to manage finances, make transfers, and so on. Imagine how much less staff is now needed if so many simple client requests are being done by AI. And that's just the beginning. Some people on TikTok have been sharing videos of a human-free bank office where everything is done 
done through video chat. This is how it starts. Soon there will be no people in banks, only AI part kiosks capable of doing 99% of bank tellers job and these kiosks will be seriously cool. They will remember your past interactions and transactions, recognize your face, help with documents and so on. And it's not just bank tellers being at risk, fraud detection specialists are in danger too. Take Dansky Bank, Denmark's biggest financial institution for example, they scrapped their outdated rules based fraud detection system and replaced it with an AI part one that boosted fraud detection capability abilities by a whopping 50% while simultaneously slashing false positives by 60%. The system not only handled a ton of crucial decisions, but also flagged suspicious cases for further human analysis. And this leaves hope that human bank workers still have a place in this world. Meteorologists could soon be gone too. Case in point, Google's DeepMind recently developed an AI part weather forecasting model called Graphcast, which has been shown to outperform traditional methods by a whopping 99.7%. This proves once again how well AI can sift through vast amounts of data and identify patterns that humans might miss. Companies like AccuWeather are already incorporating AI into their forecasting systems, which gives them the ability to process real-time data from weather sensors, satellites, and radars with much higher accuracy than before. This in turn means more localized and up-to-date forecasts, keeping citizens informed about potential hazards like flash floods, severe storms, and extreme temperatures. And though processing weather data takes a lot of time, the technology is constantly developing. Remember how impressive the GPT 3.5 was and how GPT 4 then became even better? Well, these AI forecasting systems now are like GPT 2, more or less. And while the days of relying solely on human observation and analysis may be numbered, AI is not here to replace meteorologists entirely yet. If you work at a factory and praise Henry Ford, you might want to listen closely because your job is the next one to go. While the thought of AI taking over factory jobs might sound like a dystopian sci-fi plot, the reality is more grim. Take a look at Foxconn, a major electronics manufacturer. The company has successfully deployed AI part robots in its factories. This technology is called NXVAE, I have no idea how it's meant to be pronounced. Anyway, this system, completely unsupervised, works on identifying defects in manufacturing production lines. Launched in 2021 and only eight months of being online, it has reduced the manpower resources required for defect inspection by 50%. Alongside this system, the company has also launched a bunch of other AI PAR tools, which have improved the reporting accuracy up to 99% and reduced at least one third of the operating costs. Here's what the vice president said about it. The yield rate of our production lines has exceeded 99% and the unsupervised learning algorithm developed by the AI team not only enhances efficiency and reduces the challenges associated with introducing new products into the production line, it also marks an important production efficiency milestone for our industry. Again, this is just one example. No matter what job you do in the factory, the days are basically numbered. Although some some people argue that the future of factory work is likely to be a hybrid of human and machine collaboration, where AI augments human capabilities rather than replacing them outright. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Although factory workers may be safe for a while, retail workers cannot. From automating inventory management to handling customer service, as soon as vending machines were invented, it was the end for retail workers. Once you have a person trying to sell you something, when you can just buy stuff from a silent and cordial machine. This shift is already evident in the decisions of major companies like Walmart and Amazon, which are investing heavily in AI-powered and human-free solutions. Amazon has a number of ghost stores that operate entirely without people. There are no cashiers, no inventory staff, only a bunch of sensors, cameras, and AI. Stores use all that to track customers' movements and automatically charge their accounts when they leave the store. Simple, fast, and easy. And these stores have been appearing in the streets since 2017. The inventory management is something I cannot believe is still done by human workers because there's nothing that robots and AI cannot do. Numbers, numbers, and more numbers. AI is faster, more reliable, and cheaper. With this thought in mind, Walmart has deployed AI part robots to automate tasks like picking and packing orders. These robots can navigate store aisles, identify product locations, and pick items with super high precision. For sure, there will always be room for some client oriented retail jobs, but all in all, 
there is not much when left in these sales. And let's not forget about truck drivers. Yes, AI can drive as well and reliable as people, but each year we see better and better algorithms of self-driving. Take Kodiak Robotics, for instance. This company, in partnership with Mask, has been developing autonomous trucking technology for years and has just launched a commercial autonomous trucking lane between Houston and Oklahoma City. Their self-driving systems can navigate complex roads, handle traffic signals, and and do precise maneuvers all without human intervention. Another impressive example is the work of Too Simple, a Chinese autonomous trucking company that has partnered with UPS to test self-driving trucks on highways. The company says that self-driving trucks use 13% less fuel than man-driven ones. And believe me, 13% in a multi-billion dollar industry is a lot of money. Sure, the trucking industry is no stranger to technological advancements, but trucking is quite a monotonous job that uses predetermined routes with not a lot of variability. So I can see truck drivers being kicked in the cold in a few years. But there has been one job that's been hanging by a thread for years now, librarians. In a world where no one reads books or buys them digitally, a librarian's job seems out of place. Take for instance the work of Amazon's Alexa for books. It can recommend books based on the user's preferences, interests, and reading history. It can also give summaries of books, highlight key passages, and even read aloud. This is by far and even read aloud. This is far more than any librarian would do. The only thing Alexa doesn't do is ask for silence in the library. Another impressive example is the work of Iris AI, a tool for indexing and recommending books. Iris AI's algorithms can analyze vast amounts of text data, identifying relevant keywords and topics, and suggesting books that align with the user's interests and research needs. And don't forget about all those ChatGPT plugins that we've covered in previous videos. And while AI is changing the role of librarians, it's important to note that the human touch remains essential to so many people. Librarians bring empathy, critical thinking skills, and a deep understanding of information literacy to the table. These qualities cannot be replicated by AI, and some libraries would definitely want to hang on to that. Probably the least expected job on the list is programming. Entry-level programmers are at risk now, and this is something I genuinely hate. Take Google's Gemini and its alpha code 2, for instance. It can generate working code from natural language descriptions, significantly reducing the time and effort required for entry-level programmers to write code. Alpha Code 2 can also identify and fix bugs in existing code, saving programmers valuable time and improving code quality. Or how about a more conventional example, ChatGPT, we've made many videos on it, and let me tell you, this baby can code, and it does a really good job at simple things. Why would a company hire an intern if AI can do the same things and more? More, but cheaper, faster, and with less mistakes. Yeah, that's how all those executives think. They don't care about people's lives or ask themselves questions, how will they get experience and become metal programmer if they don't let them become a junior. That's what makes me sad, but this is inevitable. AI will soon be not a helper like it is now, but a worker who can deliver. Yet if all travel agents disappear, I won't get sad. All those agencies selling overpriced tours to all-inclusive hotels that I can book myself two times cheaper? No, thank you. There are AI tools that can do everything for you, faster and for free. You already know dozens of websites with cheap plane tickets. All of them use AI of some sort to suggest the best destinations and find cheap tickets. But to take things even further, there is also TripIt, an AI-powered travel planner that seamlessly syncs all your travel information, flights, hotels, car rentals, into a single organized itinerary. It also sends you timely reminders about upcoming flights, baggage drop-offs, and check-in deadlines. This kind of centralized organization is exactly what travel agents do and sell, but available for free. And for easier planning, there is an AI assistant on TripAdvisor. It can suggest tailored itineraries, recommend hidden gems and unusual attractions that align with your unique tastes. So yeah, if you are a travel agent, start learning new skill because your days are surely numbered. What comes to no surprise is that writers and editors may soon be wiped out completely. ChatGPT killed this job, basically. Everyone uses ChatGPT and similar AI tools to write text for them. No one writes stuff manually anymore, and why should they? AI can do the research, find all the information, and write an engaging and interesting text 
for you. Yes, it may lack some refinement and creative vision now, but give it a few years and all the people will write themselves fiction books and messages to each other. AI can do proofreading, rewrite text for better understanding, simplify and summarize material, or add additional, add interesting bits if needed. Right now, it is still very much dependent on the quality of prompts people use, but again, with time, the tech will get better and better. The job of editors and writers will come down to just coming up with ideas and guiding AI. And when that happens, the effectiveness of writers will skyrocket, leaving less need for a huge workforce and staff. So if you want to stay in this game, I advise you to start learning prompt engineering and mastering AI writers as fast as you can. AI will surely take our jobs, at least part of them, but don't get too sad now because here, it's the same situation as during the Industrial Revolution. Some jobs disappear, but other jobs take their place. The good thing is that we still have time to adapt, to learn something new, to harness the power of AI before it's too late. And to do that, be sure to check out our other videos where we dive deep into AI, learn how to write prompts, and do all sorts of things. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.